Perhaps one of the most unknown parts of the world to most, Central Asia is one of the most unappreciated areas of the world. Hello, my name is David and this is Eurasia. Without further ado, let's answer the question, what is the geography of Central Asia right now? Spanning from Siberia to South Asia, and from the Caspian to China, Central Asia has many definitions. For this video, however, we will discuss the six Stan countries of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, and Afghanistan. However, it is important to note that many parts of Russia, China, Iran, and Pakistan are also included in some official definitions of Central Asia, all of which border the region entirely. Mongolia is also sometimes put into this definition. Nonetheless, let's start with the geography of the region. Central Asia has approximately 4.6 million kilometers squared of land, or about half the size of the United States. Located in the center of Asia, the geography of Central Asia is extremely diverse, but we can split the region into four general areas located throughout the six countries. First off, in the north, the Kazakh steppes dominate the north of Kazakhstan as well as southern Russia. The steppes are known for their vast open areas of grassland with few mountains. The steppes receive little rainfall during the year, and thus, few people or animals live in the region. The area is generally not suitable for most crops, but what crops can grow here, such as wheat, have done very well. Major cities in the region include Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan, and Karagandi, Kazakhstan. Secondly, the mountainous region in the east consisting of northeastern and central Afghanistan, eastern Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, southeastern Kazakhstan, and some parts of eastern Uzbekistan is notorious for its unbelievable views and high mountains. Increasingly though, the mountains of the north are full of vegetation as the mountains continue more into the south, especially into Afghanistan, they become less and less green. Within this area, many important rivers start that feed the lower lying areas around it, including the Amu Darya and Sur Darya, which start in Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan respectively. The mountains have had extremely good and bad effects for all countries who have them within their borders. For example, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan have struggled to develop their agricultural sector due to the lack of good flat land that they can grow crops in. However, they also have access to lots of rivers and thus hydroelectric power. For such small and relatively undeveloped countries, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan produce an unbelievable amount of hydroelectricity compared to others in the region, which helps both provide electricity to their populations as well as lessen their environmental footprints. In fact, both countries receive about 90% of their energy from renewable sources, while developed countries like the United States and Russia are only at about 15%. The mountains have also enticed many tourists to come and visit. This includes the famous Isikul Lake in Kyrgyzstan, which brings thousands of tourists to Kyrgyzstan each year. Also, the Pamirs in southern Kyrgyzstan and eastern Tajikistan, where the mountains are tallest, attract many from around the world each year. Major cities in the region include Almaty, Kazakhstan, Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, and Kabul, Afghanistan. Thirdly, the deserts of the west cover southwest Kazakhstan, western Uzbekistan, western Turkmenistan, and southern Afghanistan, and they provide an arid and near inhospitable land for inhabitants. After a major Soviet project was enacted to increase irrigation in eastern Uzbekistan in the 1980s, the Aral Sea, which had been fertile and green prior to the 1990s, was quickly absorbed by the deserts, and today, with little water left, is becoming more and more sandier and less and less fertile. The few cities that do exist in the region hold the vast majority of the people, including the capital of Turkmenistan, Ashgabat. Other cities include Kandahar, Afghanistan, and Kızılorda, Kazakhstan. Lastly, the fertile plains of the center of Central Asia, located in southern Kazakhstan, eastern Uzbekistan, western Kyrgyzstan, western Tajikistan, eastern Turkmenistan, and northern Afghanistan, provide perfect land for agriculture. 
The vast majority of Central Asians live in this area, especially in the area known as the Fergana Valley, mainly located in eastern Uzbekistan. This area has been a place for contention for the many countries in the region who desperately want more of it. The area is home to some of the largest cities of Central Asia, including Shimkent, Kazakhstan, Tashkent, Uzbekistan, Samarkand, Uzbekistan, Kokant, Uzbekistan, Osh, Kyrgyzstan, Khujan, Tajikistan, Dushanbe, Tajikistan, Turkmenabad, Turkmenistan, Kunduz, Afghanistan, Herat, Afghanistan, and Mazari Sharif, Afghanistan. Therefore, Central Asia, like any other place on Earth, has an extremely diverse climate and geography that has played a role in where people live and how people live, as well as the politics and economics of the region. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel as well. Until next time, stay happy, stay humble, stay hopeful, and goodbye.